What's going on, everyone? Thanks for tuning in to another Dyslexic Reacts. Today we're going to be checking out Artist vs. Footbox G from the GBB 2021. From what I've seen in the comments, this is going to be the last of the Artist videos. So, uh, should be one of the last shorter ones we get for a bit. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get right into this video, everyone. Make sure to check the description for links to the original video, as well as the creators involved. And uh, make sure you support the community and help everyone grow. But let's go ahead and see what Footbox G is bringing. He's been really, really, really impressing me lately. Definitely climbed up my list of favorite beatboxers. Wow. You just saw him in the finals for Belgium. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Footbox G. <laughs> Top 8 Grand Beatbox Battle 2021 World League Edition. Crowd, are you ready? Mm. I said, are you ready? Yeah. Decoy versus Footbox G right here live and direct. I say the twa. You say the turn the uh. Footbox G, it's on you. Twa. This is wild card for the... Uh, what was that? Online World Beatbox Championship, maybe? second round play since uh yeah a little rewind they know that they still remain frozen They still remain frozen. And that's you know that they still remain frozen. Time switch. Okay. Um, <clears throat> as always, a little weird doing this part of the video where you only get to see one side of it, but, um, I mean, like I said, Footbox G, definitely growing on my list of favorite beatboxers. I think last time I watched one of his videos, I said he was in my top three. 
I mean, I've always had a very hard time deciding like my tops of things. Um, I always try to kind of just have a top three, maybe even a top five if it's something I'm really into. Um, that way I don't have to decide. So that's what, what I, but I, by saying he's in my top three, that could mean he's my number one. But uh, typically my feelings of that, when I get to that much level, like my tops of things, those numbers are changing like every time I see something new. So like I could watch a Zeka round next and he would be my number one or whatever. Um, hopefully that makes sense. But uh, yeah, I mean, without seeing the other side of it, it's hard to say who I think w should have won. But um, like I said at the start, it kind of got spoiled for me that this was the last of the uh, artist rounds. So I know Fubaki wins, which I'm normally, I would say, conflicted on because I also really, really like Decoy. But since we're not able to see his rounds, I'm glad that Fubaki is moving so that we can actually get full battle rounds going forward. And uh, I also, like I said, Footbox G is one of my favorites. So I am very, very happy he moved on. Um, but yeah, I mean, I will say, I don't know if the audio was not mixed as well. So it, his audio in this video sounded a little flat at parts. Um, it didn't feel like it had all of the dynamic range that a lot of. Uh, his other stuff does as well as pretty much almost all of the other rounds I've heard. So I feel like maybe there wasn't as much time and effort put into the mix on this one. Um, which made it a little weird at parts. But other than that, um, the only other at all negative I had was there was a part where he did some like pausing and kind of got in decoy's face. And, uh, it didn't sound quite right to me. I feel like the pause and coming back in wasn't exactly where it should have been. Let me see if I can find it. You know that they still remain frozen. Nope, that's not it. All right, I'll go one more spot, and then if this isn't it, I I remember he was on the right side of decoy when it happened. Eh, whatever. Um, but yeah, so uh, as always, love both of these uh, beatboxers. Wish I could have seen both of them. Understand why. Not upset. Um, but very happy with what Footbox G put out there for us. So excited to see him in the semifinals. Nice. Congrats to him. Um, but yeah, until next video, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And uh, peace.